Interesting hearing about this new facility then, and those will be remembered by it in Yulee. Uh, but is this the new facility and money that's going into it really going to promote involvement in sports in the county? The latest figures from Sport England show that since 2011, there's been a 2% drop in the participation of sports in Gloucestershire. Joining me now is John Stevens, the Chief Executive of Active Gloucestershire. Good morning, John. Good morning. Uh, quite disappointing then, a million pounds being spent this year and, and yet activity actually dropping. Well, I think you've got to look at the trend rather than a, a one-off figure. So if we uh, just deal nationally for a moment, in the 12 months to October 2013, which is the last full year that we've got data, uh, 15 and a half million people played sport in the in England once a week, and that's an increase of one and a half million over the baseline figure in 2005. Now Gloucestershire, we've gone uh, in that period. We've seen steady growth, although you're quite correct. In the last 12 months, we've seen a slight fallback from um, the, the the figure that we achieved. Uh, and that's for people playing sport once a week. If we look at three times a week in the county, we've actually seen a sustained growth in participation in sport and physical activity from 22.5% in 05 to 275 in um, the latest set of figures. So the hard and sporty types are perhaps playing a bit more, but we perhaps need to do more to get those that perhaps aren't as active out there and getting involved. Yeah, um, it, it, there is always more to do, and and it was fantastic, I think, to hear that, that story about Alney Cricket Club for a number of reasons. Um, and one that I'd like to pick up on is that uh, sports clubs in their communities have often been there for many, many, many years, and they've served countless generations of uh, people in the community as a hub for their community. Uh, so it is important that we sort of retain these clubs and indeed try to enhance the facilities that they can offer and again the only made the point that they're seeing an upturn in young people coming forward to play football they hope to see a similar upturn in young people coming forward to play cricket and certainly that's our sort of sense of what's happening out on the ground we are seeing um steady not spectacular but steady growth in participation so you'd expect the figures to be higher next year uh, if we get a decent summer, <laughs> I know that sounds a bit trite, but actually the weather does have a significant impact. So if you cast your mind back to the great floods of um, a few years ago in yeah. Gloucestershire, um, you know, the, the cricket in the county, the club leagues, they would probably say it took them nearly two years to recover mm. from the impact of that. But um, not just on terms of uh, the damage that was done to pitches, but people just didn't get a summer of cricket. They found other things to do, and it took them quite a while to come back to their sport. So, John, so, what, what are the growing sports in Gloucestershire? Then? Where, where are people perhaps trying things out that perhaps they didn't before? Well, the encouraging thing, I think, is that, that um, we're seeing a lot of uh, activities that... It's easy for people to play, oddly enough, where they don't have to sort of take part in um, in a club activity and find another 10 or 11 people to play with, important though that is. So activity cycling, for example, is, is just booming. All disciplines are cycling. Um, but even the very simple things like running and swimming are, are, are showing growth. Uh, rugby is um, working hard to sort of reverse the trend of... Um, uh, sort of mid-teenagers mm. who drop out and obviously there's a lot of work going on the back of Rugby World Cup coming up um, both nationally and and obviously in the county at uh, Kingshole. Um, rowing is growing and one of the reasons that we had that um, £900,000 worth of capital investment in the county uh, is actually attributable to half a million going to the water sports hub the Gloucester Rowing Club are, are, are pioneering down in the docks as a yeah. brilliant new facility and already we're seeing an uptake of um, youngsters in the city uh, in, in rowing and, and canoeing and other activities that are going to take place out in that hub Hopefully some more Olympians on the way. John, nice to talk to you this morning. And to Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy John Stevens, and you, Chief Executive right. of Active Gloucestershire. Get out there and get active then. John says there's plenty uh, to get involved with, plenty of clubs, uh, plenty of great facilities in Gloucestershire. A million pounds have been spent just in the last...